it's video analysis Tuesday. Tuesday. Go ahead, introduce us. I gotta. Hi, I'm Whitney. This is John. Yo. We're Intelligent Concrete. Here. Boom. <laughs> like your sound effects. Thanks. Love it. Shazam. Oh my. So we are gonna be doing a video. What is our video analysis today? Oh, uh, it's for Time of Set Week. Do, 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 oh. do, do, do. So what is time set? We uh, we had the ASTM out, TMC out yesterday. It's four zero three, mm -hmm. um, and I forgot it downstairs. So that's okay. You read about lazy. it yesterday. I don't want to read about it. it. It's just there's a really great definition that they have. Okay. So the time of set is for penetration resistance. Standard test method for time of setting of concrete mixtures. Duh, we're not talking about asphalt. That's how you it's say kind it of grout English. though by the time you use the wet sieve. Right? By penetration resistance. Stop making sense. Um, so this test method covers the determination of time of setting of concrete with slump greater than zero by means of penetration resistance measurements on mortar sieved from the concrete mi mm. mixture. So this is not your exact concrete mix. Whitney is right. right. It's just that using this test method, when you have uh, rocks bigger than a number four, it, the results are sometimes erroneous. You might hit a rock and da 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 da, -da whatever. Yeah. Um, so the the purpose of our video is to analyze when a tried and true method of using a boot to determine the uh, the set of the surface doesn't work out very well, and where spending the extra time and or money right. to figure out those and using something like a handheld penetrometer would have helped that finisher right. uh, recognize when and when. When and how. Or when. Yeah, the boot finish. method. So here's the uh, scenario. And I'm, I'm trying to be as nice as possible. Dang! So three different videos. Volume. Uh, I was on a job site years ago uh, that we, my company paid for. Um, uh, and this is, you know, well before I lost my hair. I hadn't even met Whitney yet. Um, and it was a brand new concrete technology that we had brought over from the headquarters uh, across the Big Blue Pond. And, you know, the, the finisher, the contractor that we brought in, that we paid for, right. was of the mindset, I've been doing this 30 years. Which was great. It gave us a taste of what the industry had to offer. But, you know, I... I remember my boss from from uh, France had come over, you know, to help me bring this technology from the lab to the field. And at a certain point, he was like, "John, uh, for me, I don't care." You know, he was at hands off. The guy said, "I've been doing this thirty years. Let him." And I was of the mindset, "No, I mean, the, he again used the boot method." Right. And I I know what this concrete did. It gave you that false set, mm -hmm. and it looked like it had gotten the initial set based on the boot print. But then once you started putting energy to it, it kind of went blah, 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 and it turned back into a fluid. Mm -hmm. And man, this guy didn't want to listen to me. So at a certain point, I had a, I had a few more words than John Michelle. Yeah, I'm sure. I was, I lost. I was like, fine, you want to do it? Go ahead. I don't, couldn't give a shit. And I walked off and this, I mean, is basically what happened. That the pan started moving or the blade started moving and once he got that energy into it, those blades start, you know, putting more energy into the slab. They, uh, the blades end up creating enough energy to, to turn that, that surface from what looks like a hard surface into a more jelly-like surface. Mm -hmm. And you can see right here that the blades are starting to cut in right. to the surface. And, I mean, this is literally when my boss pulled me away and let them do what they're going to F and do because this is what we have to say. Right. Um, and what's great is, is that, you know, you just see it start happening here and here that the blades are starting to, I don't want to use the word gel because gel can mean hard or soft, mm -hmm. but it is a softer jelly-like material right. that the concrete turns into. And again, you've got that blade rotation so it ends up happening, okay, so the last piece is, is from a different angle, and this is probably the worst of it, where you could already see what the blades have done. Mm -hmm. That's the concrete surface, 
And what ends up happening is the blades just turn right into the concrete and just rip apart the surface. Wow. And you can, in the distance, see that? Jeez. And you can see in the distance his boot prints. Yep. So this is where the blades were before, the power trial was before, and it's created a more jelly surface. So, in, I mean, you can see his footprints all over. If he had done the footprint originally, yeah. that footprint would have told him to back up off the surface. Right. You have not reached that initial set, or at least after your initial right. set, to maintain the weight and the spinning of those blades. Right. Um, and, and this is where it would have been, wow, look at that. This is where it would have been so important for them to have, because we had the time of set data. Right. Like we saw what it did and below the surface, that's what it looked like. Right. And if he had just looked at it, used the time, the Pioneer Bundrometer I had in my hand. Right. That oh, you were packing one that day? Of course, I was I packing one? Was I packing one? I was, I bet, yes. Thermometers. Slump cones? I mean, the equipment that I had, I mean, this was at the plant. Oh, wow. Like, I'd already done this over here, the walls by myself. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Here's all my equipment that had yeah. been used like half an hour ago that I just finished mm -hmm. cleaning. Folks, so, what's here. the lesson to be learned? These are not bad people. No. These are people who've just been doing it a certain way for so much time, and for some reason, and I attribute it to fear of the unknown, they sure. won't use these methods that are available. And time is set, we'll put the link below for that video of how to use the tabletop versus the handheld. Right. I mean, it's, it's a really, it's a great method to steer you away from these types yeah. of... Well, and then the problem is too, you know, if you, especially if it's concrete that you're not familiar with, or haven't worked with before, um, it, it's better to use the test, get the data, and, and then know, because if you destroy a slab... You gotta I fix mean, it. Th thankfully, this is just out, out back of a plant, but... Somebody like, still paid for it. Right, I know, but what yeah. if it's... My point is, yeah. what if it's a high end... What totally. if it's a floor? You know what I mean? Some sort of floor that's gonna be super... Forget a super whatever. flat floor, just somebody's garage. Yeah. Some, yeah, something that's a little bit, whatever, whatever it is, Still but money, you. higher profile, yeah. it's going to cost a lot of money. So. so just hopefully you get the lesson out of it. Yeah. It's a it's a great video of what not to do, what to be aware of. Sure. And let us know if you have any more questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got that competition going on. Go concrete! Beat asphalt.